Okay, here we go for another video of the FD7. I'm not sure how far I'm going to be able to go this time, but I wanted to try uh, taking this video with a different kind of equipment. I have uh, in front of me my Nikon P7100 and uh, I have it set in uh, manual kind of focus mode. We'll see how far it allows me to go. So here's the screen. I wanted to show you uh, what the, the various menus. So I'm going to be pressing this button uh, to go back one uh, level up. Uh, actually, yeah, it's this function, this button, either up or down. So once I've gone to this menu to so up one level, you can see here the different functions available for taking measurements. The first one at the very top here is the density. So if I press here and I measure something, anything, I guess I'll get the density of eating. So I want to try again with my chart from yesterday, place it on the chart anywhere. And let's see if we can get a density of eating. Now let's see what this, this reads. This reads 0 0.97. 0 0.57 actually and this is the cyan it's using the cyan filter so it went to the highest density uh, let's see if I change it mode if I bring it up uh, actually uh, this would say what I have to put on my glasses because I can't see anymore uh, I'm getting too old and it says density filter auto so if I press the friendly enter button over here, I bet I can have, you know, all these extra choices. So go to all, for instance, press enter, and go back here to the uh, measurement. And sure enough, there's uh, all the density readings for this uh, mode. Now let's go, let's go up uh, one more. Let's go back to the... Uh, functions menu and what do we got here we got the dot percentage I'm not gonna bother with that we got the trapping and these are all you know traditional graphic arts kind of measurements PS dot gain can't remember what that's maybe process standard as for the uh, Europe a uh, spot color density this is interesting I haven't tried this many times but uh, let's go down to color difference see if I can figure this one so first thing it wants it wants the target so let's see if I can get the target target would be let's say this color over here this sort of a you know blue color whatever or it could be the paper so I'm going to read the paper I heard the beep and now what this instrument says now the instrument has recorded the measurement of the first color which is 92.4.7 and minus 11.87 and now if I want to me compare this measurement to some other measurements of other colors sorry I'm going to use the cardboard from from my color checker chart let's say uh, sleeve so I'm going to place it anywhere on this uh, surface depress the head down take a reading and now let's see what the instrument says the instrument says I'm going to place it further away so hopefully the focus will be better it says 18.74 Delta E 2000 and I suspect it's possible to toggle Delta E 2000 to other scales let's see if I can quickly get into that option I'm not sure how easy I can do that let's press enter and the first option that comes up is eliminant measurement that's not it uh, that's D50 M1 that's the condition if I keep pressing down and it says the user custom eliminant so that's not the correct menu uh, maybe if I go down to what they call the menu this second button here let's see option 
option calibration ah color difference that's it color difference that's not what we want system polarizing menu uh, color options so go down to color options actually go up sorry I need to go down to color options color difference density options color options let's see and under color options what do we get we get color target measurement condition color space on oh, color space is interesting let's explore color space menu this is the color space menu what do we see option there we go so these are all the color spaces that are supported by the camera which means the first one at the top is LEB the second one is LCH third one is YXY that's for chromaticities there's capital XYZ then there's Hunter Lab and that's it so let's go back to LCH use that as an option press enter and uh, let's not talk about M1 or D50 or Eliminant I'm probably gonna lose myself in those menu for now so let's go back up uh, one more one more one more so now you see LCH the difference is displayed in LCH so let's see if I can go back to just color so option and um, color is right above here so I'm going to choose color so now it is LCH so now if I measure any color for instance this yellow which has a high chroma so I get 89 25 and 128 degrees for the U angle so 128 degrees that's past 90 degrees so it's a green it's a yellow on it's a green shade yellow if I press uh, if I measure this green color over here this should be a little bit more aha I knew it see 179 degrees that's that's definitely a green and very close to be turquoise because it's one it's close to 180 if I find a cyan on this sheet this would be more cyan I'm gonna have maybe 220 degrees let's see 241 degrees that's more like what it should be okay I cannot demonstrate the ruler with this in, uh, today because I haven't uh, uh, got the setup uh, going the one of the f next things I want to demonstrate is the capture in Excel thank you for watching so far